they were the ones riding, they were the ones in the spacecraft, but without that team of people that was pyramided under them, you couldn't do it alone. There were 400,000 people supporting those three men going to the moon. And everybody had their job, and everybody had to do it correctly or it wasn't going to work. Houston thrusters go, all engines, you're looking good. Hey, Roger, you're loud and clear. You're... Within a few minutes of leaving Earth, 97% of Apollo 11's huge mass had been shed. We got the first step. Roger, we confirmed the first step. Tower's gone. Roger, tower. Neil Armstrong confirming both the engine skirt separation and the launch escape tower separation. Yeah, Houston, uh, Apollo 11 and Saturn gave us a magnificent ride. Uh, Roger, 11, we'll pass that on, and it certainly looks like you're well on your way now. After one and a half orbits of the Earth came a critical stage. The engine burned again for translunar injection to break Apollo 11 free of Earth's gravity and set it on course for the moon. For the astronauts, it was the point of no return. Their three-day voyage to the moon had begun. Apollo 11, this is Houston. Thrust is good. Everything's still looking good. Roger. 29,000 feet per second building up toward... As we were moving away from the Earth was the first opportunity that Neil and Mike had to look outside and see the Earth, and see the Earth getting smaller and smaller. And uh, this was after we'd been established in a in a slow rotation of about one or two revolutions per minute so that the heat from the sun would even out as the spacecraft turned around slowly. You'd see the Earth and the moon and the sun one by one move through the windows. Just very well. We have not been able to visually pick up the uh, Hawaiian island chain, but we can clearly see the United States, California, and Mexico down uh, as far as Acapulco. It looks good on the monitor. But we have we have no intention of competing with the professionals, believe me. You'll never beat out the Thunderbird. Ten hours into the mission, and more than sixty thousand miles from home, the crew began the first of their daily television transmissions from space. We are very comfortable up here, though. We do have a happy home. Uh, there's plenty of room for the three of us. The zero G is very comfortable, but. Uh, after a while, you get to the point where you sort of get tired of rattling around and banging off the ceiling and the floor and the side. So you, uh, you tend to find a little corner somewhere and put your knees up or something like that to wedge yourself in, and that seems more at home. 